Hello there, this is Ryan from Burley Bricks coming to you live from my obscene Lego room, which is kind of a disaster at the moment. But we are continuing on with this build, Creator 3 and 1. Now, I've done the other two builds, the Lobster and the Manta Ray, uh, which are kind of like the more, the builds that are kind of suggested, but really it's the, the big build that people probably start with or only do this octopus so let's get into it i've already opened the box when i did the other builds and i've taken them apart but this one actually tells you which bag to do first whereas the other ones they're just sort of like both of them um so i'm going to maybe i should have done this should have done that before uh but this is going to be a challenge trying to find all these pieces in here i guess i could have off camera sorted them all out but it's very time consuming um could be like one of those cooking shows where they're they always have like the cake that they pull out as it's they don't show you every step so this is going to be a long video <laughs> it's going to be a long video because of that i've been kind of dreading doing this one um I, I'm going to post these, of course, back to back, but it's actually been a, a couple of weeks since I did the other two builds. Just some movie magic. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a little bit. So I will just fill a bus. And I might have to skip past a few of these. Maybe I'll just... I know I should have probably put all like the the burgundy pieces off to the side because they're clearly for the octopus, right? But I actually just found the two pieces I'm looking for. Great. So it looks like we're building the submarine right now. Um, did it tell me to build the lady first? It did. She has the bus driver wig, which I put on the skeleton last time because I thought that was hilarious. Um, and yeah, she's also kind of a scuba diver. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> so it's saying that she's just wearing her suit and her bus driver wig, which I think is hilarious. Um, and now we're building this submarine that will have lights. The awkward bit about this, and I mentioned it in another video, is Usually, I'm in such a rush to build these that I forget pieces and then I have to go back and put them in. But because this is a three in one, there's supposed to be extra pieces for the other builds, usually. Maybe not for the, the main build that they want everyone to do. So I, I, I don't know if I forget pieces or if I'm missing something. Um, but I guess that's just half the fun of my channel, right? Me just, just uh, you know, making mistakes. Hmm. Black pieces are always hard to find. I just they just become like negative space for me and I I don't even really see them. Does that make sense? Okay, I thought I need that other piece first. So yeah, I'm kinda all over the place here. Oh I didn't separate this. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what your favorite three in one has been. I don't usually build them all. I'm only doing it for the, the channel. Um, oops, missed a spot. And now there's a lawnmower going off outside because, of course, uh, it is summer now. And so it's just a lot of noise happening outside. My, uh, where we live, you can kind of hear everything. <laughs> we have like a, so we have like a plaza behind us and like a very busy street and like a highway that's really close to us. So it can get very noisy. Plus our walls are super thin. So you hear dogs barking, hear kids crying. Okay, so we did all this. And now, okay. This seems to be... One of the other builds has had also a more 
think it also had like a sub, but it was a little more basic. Um, so this one seems to be a little more involved. All right, I'm looking for some brown pieces here. Let me know if you see them. <laughs> I, know, I should probably do these on live so I can actually interact with people, but it's sort of hard to read and look at this at the same time. Cool. So I built the Sonic, I posted it uh, on the channel already, but I've had like the Sonic theme stuck in my head. Um, and you can check that out on my channel if you desire. Also, my partner is home today, so I keep hearing him cough. He told me he'd be quiet, but he's a liar. Not sure if it's picking up the lawnmower sounds, but uh, what is going on here? So, not exactly sure what this is that I'm building. But it goes in like this. This is kind of interesting. Uh. Is there a smaller one? So it's supposed to like, this piece here is supposed to go in between these two pieces, but it, they keep, it keeps kind of pushing them out. Not exactly sure why they're making us do this, but... Yeah, like, is there a smaller? It's just weird. Okay, it's fitting now, but they're kind of fighting against each other. There is a piece. I should just title this video in advance. And where is that piece? Some interesting techniques here. Sometimes when I build my own things, which you're welcome to check out, also on this channel, um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job, you know? And then I see in these official builds, like, how did they do that? Like, and how, how did your mind get to that place to do that? Mm -hmm. I'm really not sure if it's picking up the, the sound, but wow, is that one more very aggressive? I wonder what it is I'm building right now. It's a part of the... Oh man, I missed all these steps over here. <laughs> Whoa, what did I do? Okay, so this is what we have so far. It's just the inner workings of this little submergible. I'm not exactly sure what this panel is. Gold? Or... So I'm I'm looking, but also sort of 
sorting they're doing. Putting some of the reds off the side because there's a lot of these reds. I okay, can't find the one right now. I'll just have to circle back, Jack. What is this? This is kind of confusing to me. We're doing this across the top. Interesting. So some interesting techniques happening here, but I'm not exactly sure what they're for. I don't see these other two pieces. I think these are maybe controls that I'm building. I don't know. I work to run around. I'm like skipped a bunch of steps here because I can't find the pieces. I have to remember to go back. Usually the leftover pieces will remind me to go back, but I don't know if there's going to be leftover ones this time. I don't know what this is. Oh, and I missed another step. Oh, man, again. I need to get my stuff together. Is that one sticking down? Why are you sticking down? Okay. I'm just telling myself, like, the more I, I get on here, the less there is here to sort through. So... Quite interesting. Oh, it's got droid arms. No, I did see these. Uh, it's interesting. Interesting techniques. I have a lot of droid arms because um, I have an Art Deco building that I haven't done a full video of yet, but there's a short one in my shorts. But I use um, the, the heads from the droids as like embellishments. Uh, sort of like um, as sort of you know like like gargoyle type heads. Oh, it's got a droid body too. So that's interesting. It's a white one. I did this wrong. Oh, what did I just do? I'm just not on my A game today. I don't know if I'm ever on my A game, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, stay on. Okay. I still have to remember to go back for all those pieces. <laughs> This is helping get rid of some of this stuff that's in my way. I just have to remember what it is that I got. Ah, oh, here's one. Something for this. This goes in here. Okay. Just looking to see if those other pieces are now visible. For me, okay, that's fine. I missed that, missed that. I'm missing one of these. It's like a brown little, like, um, gold bar piece. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. All right, I'm just going to move on. So now, oh, times four. Good thing I, I read that ahead of time. So I've asked this question before to people. Let me know in the comments. When you build something and it says times four, do you build it from start to finish first? Like, and then go back and do another one, and then go back and do another one, 
and then go back and do another one? Or do you start four at the same time and sort of build off it? That's what I'm, I'm trying to do because I don't want to go back and forth on the instructions. So hopefully it's not too complicated that I can kind of do that. He's got little This is good though because it's getting rid of some of these pieces. Okay, that's one. One. Ah, there's one. Found them. Okay. I'm not sure what these are. If these are like walls inside the, the submergible. Oh, found another piece I was looking for. I just need to find that brown. Nugget. Those are <laughs> that brown piece. Okay, and now it needs this clear thing on top. That's going to be a challenge to find. There's four of them, really? I don't see one of them. Oops. Uh oh, that's not good. I, I honestly don't see any of them. No, is it white? Oh, it's white, not clear. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Perfect. And where do they go? Oh, they go upside down? Interesting. So they go upside down in here. Wow. And it's, they're falling apart, though, as I do that. Awkward. Am I missing something? Okay. It's kind of hard to get. I think because like it's not super solid in the middle that it's kind of breaking up. I'm not sure how I feel about this build, to be honest with you. It sounds like the lawnmower outside it isn't sure either. Okay, now I think this is the shell of the submergible. Oh, here it is. Also, if you if you watch me build stuff, I also have um some like personal like build videos. Feel free to check them out. Um, like my own creation stuff. It's in a playlist called Lego City Tours. Um, if I could get more likes and more views on that, that would be great. Just because. That's why I'm I, I do this just to sort of motivate me into working on my personal stuff. I'm missing that one piece now. Ah, oh, here it is. Whew. Okay, so the, this now goes on top of here. How? But this was upside down, so does it just rest on here? How does it stay on? Oh, because of the red piece. Oh, duh. It's like, how do you, how do you get that on there? Okay. Moving on. I feel like that um the octopus that I'm gonna build is gonna be like eight the eight legs a times eight situation. 
Is it a squid? A big squid or is an octopus? I'm not a marine biologist. I'm not sure. I think it's an octopus. Octopi. That's when there's more than one, right? I don't know. Um, is it like that on both sides? Did I miss a step? What is going on with me today? I know you probably, if you watch my other videos, you're like, ah, oh, you're like this every time. Okay. Grades. I kind of wish these grades were black. Um, they're a dark gray, but I'm working on this uh, personal build where I want the floor to, it's like um, a white floor with a black grade over top. It gives it like an interesting sort of effect. Oh, this is really wrinkly. I'm just noticing. Um, so I, I need more of those, but they're somewhat common that I actually don't want to like order and spend money on them. I kind of want to just accumulate them because I feel like I have these pieces in my collection that I have so much of, I, I don't know what to do with them. And then I'll think of what to do with them. And then I suddenly don't have enough of them, right? So then I order them and then I feel stupid because it's like, ugh, I couldn't get rid of these pieces before. Can't believe I'm actually ordering those pieces. Where is this now? Okay. So this is getting more interesting. <laughs> Where's those pieces here? One. So these would be easier to stand out because they're yellow, but okay. some detailing it looks like oh my god okay it's interesting I guess the yellow is just sort of a design feature for it? I don't know. Never have, I've never actually been in a submergible. <laughs> this looks like a one man powered one. Um, or sorry, woman, woman with bus driver. <laughs> Will never not be funny to me. I know it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. It's for me, it's very funny. It's sassy. It's a sassy hairdo. Maybe I should have a bus driver character in my own city. Let me know in the comments what you think a, a good female bus driver woman, female woman. <laughs> Let me know a female woman. Uh, <laughs> Bus driver name that you think would be very fitting. I'm looking for a wedge piece, but I don't see it right now. This is sort of, so it's like the, <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. Oh, it's supposed to come down lower. That's why it's sort of stuck. So they use droid, a droid body and droid arms to cover that up. Okay, sure. Why not? Okay, we just saw this piece. And I did find all the pieces I, I was looking for earlier, so I don't have to circle back, Jack. 
Oh, this is now we're making lights. This is very interesting. Nice, I like that. So this is it so far. I like this little light build. And actually my ring light is making it look like they're on and it's Boop. Okay. So now I have to make the arms. That's interesting. Is it a times two? Not the... yes, this is a times two. That's a times two? Okay. Wait, it's the same thing. So now we're making them the little arms for submergible. Where is oh here they are? I should have been better at taking these apart. <laughs> okay. Go, go. Okay, so the arms are the lower part. Yeah, that's how it looks. So that's a little stubby T Rex arms. I like it in the yellow, though. That's nice. So I'm making another times two. This looks to be some sort of, I don't know, like an oxygen tank or something. Um, which I'm assuming you would need. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then. So I'm just going to sort of build these, the times two together at the same time. So I'm doing one and then going back, but it looks like we're building some sort of um, maybe an oxygen or maybe just some sort of, I don't know if, if you, if you are, uh, if you know about submergibles, if James Cameron is watching, please let me know. Um, I'm sure you are. This goes here. Speaking of James Cameron, I actually got a um, Avatar set. I found it at a bookshop that I went to. They uh, in Canada is called Chapters, if you're familiar. And they were having a like, um, ten times points because they have like a point system. And uh, if you spent like a certain amount of money, and they had a Avatar set that I don't have that I wasn't really sure about buying. It was like sixty dollars Canadian. Um, Oh yeah, that I, I don't think I mentioned the price of this one. I don't think I I said I just we're continuing on with this. Oh, I'm so terrible at this. Three one one three zero creator sunken treasure mission five hundred and twenty two pieces and it was fifty dollars. Sorry, forty five dollars Canadian and I did pay full price because they were giving out a free gift at the time, but I also bought it at the same store. <laughs> oh, okay. So um, yes, so regular sixty bucks, and. Uh, 
but I paid like 40 something dollars for it. So sometimes that, that makes all the difference. I'm not going to lie. I'll see a set. I'm like, okay, it looks okay, but I don't want to pay a lot of money. And then I'll see it on, on sale. Um, and I'll, and then I'll reevaluate like, oh, maybe I can use this for the pieces. And, um, sometimes, especially with IP, like, um, Star Wars and Harry Potter and stuff like that. Like, I'm not a collector of those things, so I usually just open them in, for the pieces to build my own LEGO city, and then I sell off the, the characters because I don't really have any need for, like, flesh tone people. It's funny, like, how some people cherish certain elements of, like, you know, like, I, I don't want to say, like, one person's trash is another one's treasure, but... I did a Lego show recently where I just kind of sold a whole bunch of that stuff and people seem to be really excited and looking forward and 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 wanting things that I, I just had no idea. It's like, oh, look, I don't like vehicles and things like that. And some people, that's all they want. They want like car stuff, right? So this is going all the way. So it's always interesting to find out like what people like. Let me know in the comments, like what's your favorite theme like what's the one like is it creator stuff i like anything like with buildings i usually don't buy things that have vehicles or spaceships and things like that that's just it's not for me but i totally understand like for example like the harry potter stuff uh, I'm not like a big fan of the movies. I sort of just missed them growing up. Um, I was a little too old when they started to come out. So I, I, I just never really cared for them. Um, I get it. I get why people love them. I just wasn't for me. And then I started buying their the Lego sets based on them, which are amazing. And then I, I, I haven't seen all the movies, but I started watching them after and be like, oh, that's where that set's from. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Um, it sort of gives me a new appreciation. So that's why, like, I'm also not like really big on like Marvel and stuff like that, superhero things, but if the set looks cool, I'll buy it. The Daily Bugle, I might, I might get that one. I don't know. Where'd that camera go? Here. Oh, perfect. It was the same build as before. Oh, there's all these action lines. So it looks like we're done. So that's really built up. This is the submergible, um, I guess she, she would sit there. Cute. At first I was kind of like, what is it that we're building here? But this, this isn't bad. Okay. Oh, <laughs> now it's telling me to build Build the skeleton who is a diver, it seems. And yeah. Oh. I can't get this to stay on though. Ugh. Just sort of a, why isn't this staying on? Why is this the most difficult part of the build? Okay, that's weird. Um, okay. It's all very like loose, like his limbs are very like loose. So I can't get it to really hold still. Okay, so there, he's a diver. I think we did this already in like the first build. Oh, we're making a sunken chest. This is where is where we we find the heart the, the drawing of rose wearing the heart of the ocean it looks just like this this uh this chest here oh it comes with a lot of these gold pieces that's nice surprising so it's it's telling me to to line this with these one by one golds which is good because i actually needed more of these for my for a sign that i'm making uh for my Chinese food restaurant that I'm working on that I haven't posted a video of yet, but I'm surprised they don't, these don't come in like a one by two and that it, it's just one by ones. Cause you, like, is that more or less efficient or is that better for, um, a three in one? Cause it gives you more options on how to use them. And I'm just realizing 
I finished that. Sorry, I'm sitting on my feet like I always do. And it, it hurts. <laughs> I just realized I, I still haven't found that brown piece for inside there. I don't know where it's gone to. Hopefully it turns up. So now we're building a... Uh, like a vault or chest or or something like a, a bank safe there it is that's the word um and uh i i love this dark green color so i'm um, it's always nice to get more of that So I guess we're building a, a door contraption here. Okay. Still have to build that octopus. Jeez. So it, it, you can tell, like, this is the build that they they put all their all of their uh, you know creativity into there was there was one build i think it was the first one that it didn't really have a whole lot of they had a lot of leftover pieces which was a little disappointing oh more gold means useful pieces so it's nice. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Oh, okay. We're carrying this all the way around. That's nice. So you can see we're really using up the pieces here. Everything that's going to be left over looks to be for the octopus, obviously. It's got a lot of these. Um, I think it, they're the these pink pieces are this, going to be the suction cups. Still don't see that brown piece though. It's funny. Okay. Here's another little vault door. Okay. I have to remember that building technique because they also use like droid arms for this as well and it sort of gives you the closure but it's like um how do I describe it? It's not like a an open close like that, it's more like a a form fitting. Like you can do that and that. So it's it's a or you can also do I guess it would make sense if I did it closer. But you can do that. But you can also kind of slide it a bit. It gives you more flexibility, which is interesting. Oh, and now we're putting inside gold bars. And these gems. Sorry, I totally missed this other. I get so excited when I see future builds that I like skip steps. Um, and it's giving you these. I wonder if this is like a reference to that. Instead of it being just like gems, it's a blue heart-shaped gem. I'm, I'm like trying to resist the urge to make reference to Titanic people, but come on. I I actually don't own that set. I don't think I'm going to buy that set. That's like a display piece set that, that would take up a lot of room. That The Titanic is what I'm talking about. And I'm just kind of like, eh. And it's not like a reference to the movie per se. It's it'd be interesting if you know what, if it was like Titanic wreckage under the sea, I would probably be more interested in that. Okay. So now we're building the <laughs> the inside. It's pretty gnarly. I think this is this is like the base of the octopus, but it actually kind of looks like the insides, like with guts and everything. It's, it's kind of neat. We'll see how this goes. Okay, let's get to it.
Oh, there's that brown piece, finally. You have to go back. All right. There, her chair has been finished. Okay, so this is... This is going to be, this is like a lot of little, a lot of little builds going on here. And oh. Skip the stuff again because, of course, oh, interesting. Is this it's times four. I always try to like remove pieces of my hands first, then I have to like, ugh, fine, I'll use the separator. I don't like using it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's what it's there for, right? Okay, I need one more of these. Where are those other pieces? I could skip that head for now. Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, actually, maybe it does. Oh, this is sort of interesting what we're doing here. Two times four. So we're building like, I th I'm assuming because of the little ball there that we're building, you know, where we'll stick the legs into. this way interesting this is a, okay this is an interesting build but it's sort of like not exactly computing in my mind because it just feels like techniques and things that I, I wouldn't think to do I'm not trying to push back against this but I'm kind of like oh okay but I guess that's the point of like buying these sets right is to to see new um, building techniques and to learn new things, right? That's what I have to tell myself. But I try to do like, in my Lego city, you know, a lot of people like, they they do their own, they, their Lego city will, will be composed of, you know, like um, mocks and things like that. And that's great. But I try to make sure that everything in my city is custom. So I don't really like to recycle things like just for me. Um, even people, I don't like having this, like a, a pre-built person in my city. Why isn't this going down? Oh, did I do this wrong? Oh, this is sort of weird. Why isn't this sticking off? Okay, this is a challenge. Because the way we built this is like this. And now I have to get this piece to stick on top of that. But like these move. So it's hard to get it all to stick down. Unless I did this wrong. Is this supposed to go in further? Oh, these are actually supposed to recess in further. But I could see this being, and that makes them not move. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. It worked now. But I could see people being confused by that besides me. But I guess most people like read properly. <laughs> it's just pictures too, it's not words. And I still get confused. Sometimes these these can be let me know in the comments like which build that you've done. That like the instructions were just very like, what? 
How do I do this? Oh, I see some color happening now. Okay, so we've built, did I show the finished, the finished one? Um, okay, now we're building, what are we building here? What is this? Oh, maybe it's the head, because it's a big, I don't know if this is a giant squid or octopus. Squids are usually like thinner, right? And octopuses are more wide. And squids usually, I think squids have less, I think octopus has eight, obviously, oct octo, octopus. Um, and squids, I think, have six. Okay, I like the, when they use like contrasting colors, just so that it really stands out. I already missed something. What did I do here? So yeah, I think this looks to be the, the head. And I think these are gonna be like what the eyes are stuck onto. It's big. It's a big head. Go. And then this is oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to use up all of these pieces. That would be nice. Is that great? Here we go. This is what we have so far. These are times two. Oh, here's another one of those pieces. So this is going to be on the sides. Now I can't find this little piece. This little black piece. It's around. I wonder if next we're building. Let's see if I can skip it for now. I think I can. Just to get some of these other pieces out of the way. Oh, wait, no, I found it. Wow. So this is gonna go like like this. Oh, oh, it's kind of creepy. And then under okay. And underneath we're doing this new like peach color. And then this is going to be, I guess, the head. Oh, it's creepy. <laughs> ah, these eyes are actually pretty terrifying. Whoa. Huh, okay. 
Black and green. So we're making like the the eyes. Actually, no, we're making, I'm not sure what this is. A uh, second pair of eyes, maybe? Two, this one. Is there another one of these already? No. Okay, so the eyes are in these. I'm glad to have more of, of these pieces. The, these are great for like flower pots. They're burgundy. So now it has eyes. Fun, that's nice. Is this gonna be a times eight, I wonder? Times eight, I called it, didn't I? I guess it wasn't that unexpected but all right so i'm gonna just do like eight as i go and hopefully this will will be like really efficient except for me continuously dropping things so we're making like the the tentacles now it seems And it's using up a lot of these pink pieces, which is like all that's left, pretty much. Okay, I think this is eight. So there's a lot. I'm gonna have to think of something to do with these these pink pieces. I don't know. Okay, let me just. Is that the right way? Yeah, I did this one wrong. Okay, so this is what I need to make a lot more of these. Try to do them quickly. Some of them are still stuck together, I guess, from the last build I did. I don't remember. I'll have to take a look at them before I do my post-build thoughts, because I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember what the other ones were at this moment. It was lobster, and it was, oh, it was like the mana ray. I think that one had like the least amount of stuff to do, which is always disappointing. But when it's like a seabed type situation and you have like extra gray pieces and red pieces and stuff, just make it look like a coral or I don't know. There was a bit of that, but I feel like there could have been more, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes with those, like it feels like an afterthought. I did a three in one. It's probably one of my like least watched videos um, of a. I think it was the parrot. The parrot was really beautiful. It was the the blue option. I think they actually have another identical one. In like a different colored option but there was like a tropical frog that you had to build and it was cute but it was like there were so many pieces left over so it was really disappointing okay so this is not almost done but Sure, a lot of these. And they really, like, the, the little pink pieces at the bottom are, are really effective and looking like. 
the suction cups. I guess you could probably maybe also dip them in white. I'm not sure. Okay, so this one part is done, but now I have to do another times eight. Is there more to do on top? Yes, there is. Okay. <laughs> but I think then we're done. Then we're then we're done. Did I miss something? Oh, Ryan. What did I do? I did. I should have known these were supposed to go on the back. I bet watching me make these things is sort of like watching a horror movie where you're like, instead of yelling, behind you, it's, you know, you missed a piece. What are you doing? Okay, so these are also eight. <laughs> Oh man. I need to build a bank too, I think. I have a lot of like money and gems or like a jewelry store or something for my my city. Something to use these pieces up. Is this eight? I don't know if this is eight. We're like gradually going down in size, like for the, the tentacles. So it's done, but now there's another times a <laughs> of um, but it's smaller. It's the smallest one. Oh, my hair is tickling me today. It's tickling my neck. Okay, so almost done here. Then we can all move on with our lives. Okay. It's just really like um such small pieces, it's kind of like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Not like finicky. The finicky is not the right word, but. Okay, is this really? No, there's some more of this. Yeah, I forget how many it said of, that there were of these pink ones. Oh, maybe it's not in this one. It may have been in another one, but I think it was like 54 or something like that. Which is crazy. It doesn't say in this one. But I'm sure one of them said the piece count at the end. Maybe it was the last build. I don't remember. Am I missing a pink piece? No, it's there. I don't know if there's extra for these. Which is good that I didn't lose any between all these builds. <laughs> And I'm seeing some extra pieces here that's making me a little nervous that I forgot to use them, which is entirely possible. 
because there's a lot of them. There's like four of these now. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go back. There's four of these left over, and I I don't know why. <laughs> Behind you, I know you probably don't know what it's for. I'll have to take a look and see. But maybe it's for. Oh, maybe it's for that. I think it might be for this. Let me just take a quick look and see. I have a feeling I know where they go. On the sub, on the top of the sub. No. That's surprising because there's like, if you see here, there's like this blank space. So you'd think that, that they would go here because there's four of them, right? They don't, and I don't know what it's for. Wait, what? Hold on a second. It is for that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking at this piece like, oh, it looks like it should go here. And then in the next spot, you see it's there. And it tells you to use... <laughs> I don't edit my videos, people, so that's staying in. But phew. at least I, at least I have the 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 mindset to think, hey, that's where they should go. It looks like that's where it's supposed to go. So I guess I can give myself that. All right. So now we're assembling these legs times eight. I just want to make sure that they all go in the same direction. It's it's an interesting, I don't know how I feel. I'm not really big. I think I mentioned that in, in other videos that like these builds of animals, you know, sometimes they'll give you like a full piece, like, you know, the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World pieces will give you like an actual like dinosaur piece. And then sometimes there's like a dinosaur build and same with like animals, like they actually have like an octopus like piece. And then there's this. I don't know, but it, it's big. I mean, I guess if you wanted to do like an underwater scene, it is like a very large scale octopus, which is interesting. It's very interesting, but I don't know. This set, though, I don't think it has a lot of like pieces in it that I can see myself using for other builds. So I don't know. Do, do any of you like buy sets and have like buyer's remorse after? <laughs> Like, oh, I spent my money on this? I mean, it's interesting, but I just don't... Sometimes if I really like a set and it has some really great pieces, like there's this um, Indiana Jones set that came out not too long ago that I bought like eight of. Um, just because the pieces were just so great. Okay, this is, this is very... Wow, look at that. It's like a face hugger. That's interesting. Whoa, it really does look like a face hugger. That would be an interesting little um, Lego set if they did a face hugger. Um, anyway, so that was the octopus build. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought of this creator three in one. Did you build them all? Uh, are you planning on building? Like, did you just build this one? Um, do you have a favorite creator set? Let me know. I'm really interested. Ooh, I like that this can stand. A little spider esque. Um, but anyway, uh, with that, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.